Hello friends, welcome to La Excellence. So we all know that aquatic ecosystem is very important topic for UPSC preliminary examinations. So because of this importance, today we are going to discuss about marine mammals. So before discussing about the marine mammals, let us understand the difference between mammals, amphibians and fishes. So mammals usually breathe through the lungs and amphibians breathe through the lungs and gills and sometimes through the skin also and these fishes breathe through the gills okay now let us discuss about marine mammals these marine mammals found in the marine ecosystem of the globes and these marine mammals have a unique physical adaptation for extreme temperature extreme pressure extreme salinity and extreme darkness and depth also okay so now let us understand so what are the characteristics of these marine mammals so as we discussed earlier these marine mammals breathe through the lungs and these marine mammals are warm-blooded so that means these warm-blooded mammals usually maintain the constant body temperature but these cold-blooded cannot maintain their body temperature constantly and instead they will change with respect to the environment Okay, so that's why if you see the fishes in the polar region, they will migrate toward the tropical region during the winter season. So because they cannot bear that much of less temperature, they usually migrate towards the tropical region. And these marine mammals have AIDS on their body. So either all the times or a part of the time of their lives. Okay, and next important is they give anger to the young ones and they produce milk to nurse their young ones. And lastly, so these marine animals mostly live, mostly live in and around the oceans itself. Okay, these marine mammals have been divided into four different groups. So these groups are very important because in UPSC exam they may ask you which among the following mammals or belongs to this group. So it will be helpful for your eliminations in the options. Fine. So now let us understand what are the four groups of or four types of marine mammals we have. The first one is cetaceans, okay, and the next one is pinnipeds, third one is serenanians, and the last one is marine fissipeds. Now, let us discuss about cetaceans. Cetaceans are marine mammals which live completely in the water and they are carnivorous and they never eat plants or algae as their food, okay. For example, we have whale, we have uh, uh, porpoises and we have dolphins these are cetaceans were completely present and do all their activities in the water itself and next one is pinnipeds these pinnipeds are commonly known as fin footed seals so these are carnivorous and largely piscivorous piscivorous means they feed on they eat on fishes okay and they present both land and water but majority of their life will be on the water but for some times it will come to the land so for example to take a rest or to bear the young ones to give a, a, a birth to the young ones these uh, pinnipeds will come to the lands example for these pinnipeds are uh, seals sea cows and walruses the next group of marine mammals are serenians these serenians entirely lives in the water and they are the only marine mammals which are herbivorous in nature. Example for Serenanians are Manatees, Sea Cow and Dudong. The Dudong question has been asked by the UPSC many times. Okay, this Dudong. So each individual mammals we will discuss in the next upcoming videos. And next and the last group of marine mammals are marine fissipeds. These marine fissipeds are carnivorous in nature and they spend very little time in the oceans but spend most of the time in the land itself they go to the water only to hunt for their food okay the examples of marine fissipeds are polar bear and sea otters download this pdf material please do subscribe our youtube channel namma likes bengaluru thank you please do watch our new videos regarding the marine mammals